Hello, my name is Jan Canodal. I'm the Extension Entomologist for North Dakota State University. Today we're out in a local cornfield near Arthur, North Dakota, and we're going to be checking the roots for corn rootworm activity to determine if there's larval activity feeding on the roots of the corn plant by corn rootworm. We need to dig up the corn plants and examine the roots. And another symptom of corn rootworm, which is evident in this plant, is the goose necking and the lodging of this corn plant. After we dig up the uh, corn plant root mass, then we can soak the roots in buckets of water and loosen up the soil and then power wash the soil off the roots. And then we can rate them for corn rootworm damage. A common scale for a rating root injury is a 0 to 3 scale that was developed at Iowa State University with 0 being no injury, 1, 1 complete node, approximately 10 roots is pruned to within 1.5 inch of the stalk, 2, 2 complete nodes, approximately 20 roots are pruned to within 1.5 inch of the stalk, and three is three complete nodes, approximately 30 roots are pruned to within one and one half inch of the stalk. This root rating scale system is linear and directly related to plant lodging and yield loss. Root injury that exceeds 0.25 is likely to cause economic loss. You can compare a, a healthy root mass on the left with the corn rootworm damaged root on the right. If you're observing root injury that exceeds the economic threshold of 0.25, consider diversifying your corn rootworm management to delay resistance and improve pest management. Examples are crop rotation, planting your refuge, rotating your modes of action with your BT traits and rotation of any soil applied insecticides. Thank you for watching this video and learning more about corn rootworm.